In the arid expanse of Jordan's Black Desert, a team of archaeologists dedicated several years to exploring a site known as Chewbacca One. The significance lay in the belief that the remnants of this ancient settlement could provide insights into one of humanity's pivotal innovations. During their investigation, the researchers unearthed the fireplace's ruins, discovering the remnants of an ancient meal. What they found in the ashes could potentially challenge conventional ideas about the evolution of agriculture. The archaeological revelation in Jordan, dating back 14,400 years, has the potential to reshape human history. Early humans were primarily hunter-gatherers, relying on foraging for edible plants and hunting for sustenance. The nomadic lifestyle, adapting to seasonal food availability, persisted for a significant portion of human history. While agriculture and settled living are relatively recent innovations, some hunter-gatherer societies, such as the San, the Baca, and the Copper Inuit, still exist today in regions less conducive to farming. Transitioning from hunting and gathering to settled farming was likely a gradual process. The end of the Pleistocene Ice Age around 11,700 years ago marked a turning point. Early farmers managed non-domesticated plants and animals, providing a stable food source during lean seasons. The manipulation of crops and the domestication of animals began around 12,000 years ago with plants being cultivated earlier than animals. Around 8,000 to 10,000 years ago, various civilizations, including those in ancient Egypt, Sumer, Mesopotamia, and the Indus Valley, developed sophisticated agricultural practices independently. The Fertile Crescent in Southwest Asia became a hub of farming villages around 10,000 years ago, giving rise to one of humanity's earliest civilizations, Chewbacca I situated in Jordan's Black Desert, is shedding light on the food habits of Natufians, a hunter-gatherer culture from the Mediterranean woodlands. This site, the first Natufian site outside the core zone, offers valuable insights into ancient hunter-gatherer societies. While the Black Desert was once a volcanic field, the Natufians inhabited the area over 14,000 years ago, leaving the significant impact on their diet. Excavations at Chewbacca I, conducted between 2012 and 2015, revealed two well-preserved stone structures constructed from the local basalt. Artifacts found inside included tools, animal bones, and even a human skeleton. The structures featured three-foot-wide fireplaces, constructed with basalt boulders. Radiocarbon dating of the fireplace ashes provided crucial information about the ancient meal challenging traditional notions about the timeline of agricultural development. This discovery in the Black Desert stands as a testament to the Natufians' more sedentary lifestyle, marking a pivotal shift in their dietary practices. The archaeological findings at Chewbacca I contribute significantly to our understanding of early human history and the transition from nomadic hunter-gatherer societies to settled agricultural communities. The examination of the structures within Chewbacca one confirmed that they indeed belonged to the Natufian era. Interestingly, rather than cleaning the fireplaces, the Natufians had left them in their original state. This allowed researchers to analyze the ashes, providing insights into the Natufians' culinary practices. Chewbacca I, during the Natufian era, likely served as a wetland, unlike the current arid conditions. This would have facilitated crop growth including wheat, in the area, challenging previous beliefs that the Natufians lived long before the advent of agriculture in Southwest Asia. The discovery at Chewbacca holds particular significance because, despite not being farmers, the Natufians had seemingly mastered the processes required to create bread. Bread, now a global dietary staple, has a history that is not well documented in its early development. The prevailing notion was that bread became widespread only with Neolithic farmers relying on their own cereal cultivation. However, the Natufian's ability to make bread without cultivating crops has intrigued researchers. Researchers gathered 49 samples from the fireplaces at Chewbacca I for advanced microscopic analysis at UKL. Led by Laura Gonzalez Caratero, the UTL team used scanning electron microscopy to examine the composition of the remains. 
The challenge lay in differentiating bread from other ancient cereal products like porridge. The microscopy revealed particles and microstructures within the remains, allowing for comparison with experimentally produced bread. Basic bread requires only flour and water, baked with dry heat, and the inclusion of gluten provides its distinctive shape and texture. Caratero's analysis determined that 24 out of 49 samples met the criteria for bread, indicating that the Natufians likely ground together a mix of acorn wheat, oats, barley, and club brush tubers to create high-quality flatbread. The absence of yeast or raising agents suggests the bread was flat, resembling modern pitas. Club rush tubers, found frequently, contributed to the bread's unique taste. Chewbacca one lacked evidence of ovens, suggesting that the Natufians probably baked the bread on hot stones near the fire or directly in the ashes. The ability to bake flat breads without ovens might have contributed to their popularity in the ancient world, as they were easy to stack, transport, and store. This discovery aligns with previous findings of ancient unleavened flatbreads in Roman and Neolithic sites, although the bread in Jordan predates these significantly. The Natufians' utilization of plants, evidenced by ancient tools and flint sickle blades, supports the belief that flatbreads served as a bridge between hunter-gatherers and stable farmers. Food technologist Antonella Pascolone sees practical advantages in flatbreads, while biomolecular archaeology expert Patrick McGovern notes their role in the agricultural transition. The Natufian discovery at Chewbacca I challenges assumptions about agricultural timelines, offering insights into early bread development. In July 2018, the likelihood of Natufians manipulating cereals for bread and brewing beer was expressed, with evidence of a 13,000-year-old brewery discovered in Israel in September 2018. The labor-intensive bread-making process suggests significant cultural importance, potentially aimed at impressing guests. Bread's symbolic value in contemporary culture, observed in Christian communion and Jewish Passover, underlines its historical significance. The Natufians' emphasis on bread raises the possibility that it motivated cereal cultivation and agriculture initiation. Published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the findings receive additional funding for further exploration. The team aims to investigate early plant and animal consumption, identify preferred plants for bread making, and recreate Natufian bread. While initial results may differ from modern taste, the discovery connects with Natufian ancestors, offering insights into human development and the evolution of humanity. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.